Yo, what is up guys, Legend Crazy back with another Multiverses updated perk video and today in second in line is Batman. So I'm going to be going over some updated perks for him, what you should be running currently for, you know, in October, right? So first we can start off, I want to say thank you for support, you know, if you guys do end up liking this video, you know, like and subscribe and comment down below what perks you use, comment down below if uh, these perks work for you. And um, let's get into the video. So, starting off with the ability perks, we are choosing between Precision Grapple, Grappling Hook emits a powerful blast, Batman arrives at his destination, however, he deals less damage and knockback when his grapple deals him in. Or, Bouncer Ring, hit an enemy with Batarang while it's returning to Batman, will apply maximum stacks of Weakened. Now, you want to want to look at this, so, um, we're going to go Bouncer Ring, but a uh, little, just reason we're going bounce ring uh, apply maximum stacks of weakened so let's just keep that in mind right so this bit this one's applying weakened all right so um just for sake of this I'll start off with the utility and then I'll because I got two damage perks so for utility Batman loves jumping we're gonna give him triple jump uh, you can't go wrong with it really in a single bound or leg day champ uh, if you want gravity mid bleach, you can, but I'd say it's probably between leg day champ and single bound. Triple jump, similar to Shaggy. They're just, triple jump helps you get on the map a lot faster. Um, or if you want to run the speed force, it's up to you, have movement. But for having triple jump, having a third jump is just crucial to getting back on the map. And Babin's got that nice glide ability, grapple hook. He's, you, you really shouldn't just fall off the map, right? You might even just grapple yourself back to the map. You should be just straight up chilling. Alright, so getting into the two abilities that. So, starting with the first one, we have Ice to Beat You. Your team's projectiles deal one stack of ice to enemies that are not affected by ice if the projectiles knock enemies back. So, projectiles knock enemies back, you get one stack of ice. Alright, bada bing, bada boom. Now, I'm going to name another damage perk, and then I'm going to go over a perk that is interchangeable between the two. So, next move is that's flammable dock. For three seconds after knocking back an enemy with a projectile, your team can melee attack that enemy to ignite them for one second. So after hitting someone with Batman's battering, melee them, they get ignited for one second, right? I feel like, well, why is he not doing the static electricity one? It's just not the same thing. Allies have to move on the ground for four seconds, and then their next uh, projectile will apply shock to the enemies. So. It's not just like four total seconds, it's four continuous seconds. Now, right now, we're looking at the bounce ring applies weakened, all right? Maximum stacks of weakened, all right? The ice to beat you applies ice, all right? We also have that's flannel deck, that's ignite them. That's three different type of debuffs, all right? Unless you want that many, you can't have it, all right? Um, you probably just do a lot of damage then, right? But, uh, if you want to kind of change up a little bit, you can either change that's flammable dock or ice to beat you with, I'll take that. Your team receives a 0.25 second refund on ability cooldowns after hitting debuffed enemies, um, and be up 0.5 seconds if your teammate all selects his ability. So now the reason why that's kind of crucial is because you have three of your four total perks dealing debuffs, and this one's just kind of a traversal thing. But yeah, the bounce ring deals weakened. Yeah, ice, boom, and you got that flammable ignite them for one second. So you can either exchange either ice to beat you or that's flammable for I'll take that get a little bit of a cooldown for your abilities. You can't go any wrong with that. And you can't go back with it. you can't go out with that, right? It's gonna pretty much serve you well in the long run. Um if you wanna run both of the debuffs, Ice to Beat You and Ig that's fun with that, that's perfectly fine. I'm just saying. If you wanna run I'll take that, you get a little bit of a refund because you're already dealing so much debuff damage. You get it? You're dealing so much debuff damage, you know, just effects on the opponents with all this battering. Alright, you got his smoke bomb, that does a debuff there, I mean, yeah, I think there's a lot of debuffs, right, but, um, yeah, so, you, final perks, um, you got 
Bounce Ring, Triple Jump, uh, that's flammable dock, and Ice to Beat You, and uh, I'll take that. You can rotate them in for either of the debuff perks right there. So, um, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys did end up enjoying, uh, you know, like, subscribe, um, show some support. I'd appreciate it. And uh, catch you guys in the next one, which should be. I don't know if that's my head. Taz, okay. I used to be in that guy at the beginning, so it should be interesting. Uh, well, I'll catch you guys in the next video, and see ya.